Welcome to CMEC Aluminium. Um, we manufacture marine windows and doors here in Wangare, New Zealand. Um, and I'm just going to make a little video here of how to install uh, a marine window properly. There are two ways of installing uh, aluminium windows and boats. Um, mechanical fixing or glue fixing. We here at CMEC strongly recommend you glue fix. Um, mechanical fixing involves drilling holes <coughs> in the flange. You must use isolating washers. Um, you have to take the risk of uh, getting electrolysis um, between the stainless fixings and the aluminium. Um, glue fixing provides a nice uh, rubber barrier between the aluminium and the boat, whether it's fiberglass, wood or steel. Um, and it's a nice waterproof, clean look when, at the end of the job. This is a small CMEC window. The same process applies to all sizes of windows. So we're going to use this one in my little display unit here. Uh, just to try and show you how uh, to go about it. So we'll go over here first. <clears throat> the first thing to do is ensure that your window fits in the hole in the boat um, with a little bit of clearance on all sides. That's very important. You don't want to have to force the window into the boat um, using levers or crowbars or cranes or whatever. The window wants to fit in the hole just nicely with a little bit of clearance, maybe one to one and a half mils on all sides. Um, so pretending that that is the hole in your boat, you fit your window. If there's any lumps or uh, discrepancy in the uh, actual aperture, you file those out, sand them, whatever is required, so that you have a nice loose fit in the boat. As I say, you want one or one and a half mils. Once you get it to where it is, where it wants to be, you pack it. <clears throat> you then mark around that window flange on the outside of the boat and remove the window. Okay? The window can now be put to one side. You have a mark on your boat. Oh, by the way, it's very important once again to do all the pre-finishing work. Um, get all your paint on. Um, get it all ready to go before you start applying windows. <clears throat> the reason for that is if you glue a window into a boat onto a prime surface, that you then have to apply finish coats. Where do you stop that finish coat? At or on the sealant. Um, if you put it on the sealant, the sealant's flexible. And eventually the paint's going to crack on top of that sealant. So if you finish the boat, <coughs> get the paint right to the inside. It's a complete sealed unit. Um, the gunk goes on top of the paint. The gunk is, gunk is UV stable, um, so it's there forever and you won't have any problems. So you've pre-fitted your window. You make sure you've got a bit of clearance. Um, you've tried it in the hole. You've got a mark around there where you're going to actually mask to. The masking wants to be done about six millimeters below that line, okay? So you go around the actual opening mark that you put on the boat with your masking tape. Like that. All sides. Once the entire aperture is uh, masked off, you then use a piece of everyday average uh, scotch scouring pad and you take the gloss off that paint. All the way around, make sure the gloss is removed. It doesn't have to be sanded within an inch of its life. You just want to take the glossiness off it. This makes a good key for the uh, adhesive to stick to. Once that's all sanded down and looking nice and dull and flat, you use a, a isoprop or acetone anything but terps or meths um, and, and give it a good clean down. Don't touch it once you've cleaned it down. The oil from your skin can spoil the uh, stick that you're going to get. So now we have to go back and prepare the window for installation. <coughs> the first procedure is to flip the window over, back of the flange, wipe it down with isoprop or acetone or whatever you want to clean it up with, not terps, not meths. Isoprop's the best thing. We will supply you a strip of 3mm PVC rubber. You cut it into little pieces about half the size of your fingernail. And with your adhesive, you glue these to the back of the frame. You only need one about every three or 400 millimeters, but those are glued onto the flange. A little bit hard to see, you might come in closer, Tyrone. Um, right on the back of the flange there like that. So you've got a dab of glue in one of those every three or four hundred millimeters. 
you can then turn the window frame over and you mask to this flange has got a bit of a round just here on the edge of the lip okay you want to mask about halfway down that radius so come in close again Tyrone we go right about there leaving just a little bit of that edge so that it's visible okay <clears throat> you mask off the whole window flip it back over and then you apply a nice heavy bead of your adhesive about half the size of your finger thickness okay so you put that all the way around you've got a nice big bed of sealant on there you've got your packs in place it's all masked off it's been cleaned down it's ready to go in the hole the reason we put the adhesive on the flange and not on the boat I'll just run through this briefly pretending that I haven't got gunk on the window at this stage if the gunk or sealant is on the boat <clears throat> and you have a rather large window and you position it to try and put it in you accidentally miss the hole what happens you get sealant all over the back of the window here the stuff's going off it cures fairly quickly it's very important to not have a delay here so if you put the sealant on the back of the flange and miss the hole it doesn't matter helps to have a glass sucker you can borrow those from your glass department uh, glass uh, suppliers or whatever um, because you don't want to be touching the back of that one that's got gunk on it. So you've got the gunk on the back, you've got your packers in, this is masked off, that's masked off, that's cleaned down and also propped. You push the window into the hole, you have your friendly uh, helper put your packers back in to put it back in exactly the same place it was. You'll have sealant all oozing out here. I'll turn that around. Both sides are masked off. Now you can use a little cap full of maybe terps dip your finger in it, dip your uh, spatula in it, whatever you want to use um, but you run around and where it is oozed out you smooth it off. Now the reason for masking out here is that the window is now sitting three millimeters out because of your packers and you want to mask outside of it so that you get a nice coved effect on the sealant. So you cove it around using liberally the terps to get a nice smooth finish. Uh, the terps also helps to stop the surface skinning quite so quickly um, get it all smoothed off all the way around the window and then immediately remove your tape. This stuff skins pretty quickly. If you muck around it'll skin and when you pull your tape off it'll drag it all and look terrible. Um, the only other advice that I can really give you is if you do one on this side when you do your second window go to the other side of the boat because if you do the next one along what happens you end up putting your finger in this and making a mess of it. So go to the other side of the boat do that one. And at the end of the job, if you come over here, Tyrone, you get a nice looking finish like you see here. <clears throat> it's a nice clean look. It's a nice clean look. You've got no fixing holes. Um, it's just glued in the boat. And if you've ever asked anybody who's taken a window out of the boat, um, they've removed the fixings and you have to take a lever and a crowbar to get the window out of the thing. So, uh, glue fixing, done properly, cleaned down, right adhesives, um, it works. So, if you need any more advice, give us a call. Uh, country code 64, area codes 9, My name's David McInnes, we're here to help you. Thank you.